Pyraking Studio. This full set has been used more than 10 years. Everyone thinks it's very old. Now there is a problem. There will be water leakage. Pyraking, you see, this full set is very old. It's tilted on one side and legs. Do you want to replace it? At this time, Pyraking will definitely say that. Of course, I have to fix it, and then he will tell you the story of Cinderella. Bala bala bear. 灰姑娘的旧衣服变成了美丽的新衣服，在她的脚边出现了一双玻璃鞋。Well, this time even if Cinderella hasn't become a princess, at last became a beauty. Today is going to turn the old faucet into this. I only repaired and cleaned it, and did not polish it, so it doesn't take much time. <laughs> hey, it's time to go. It's time to walk. Huh? Oh, let's get started now. Close the outlet valve of the water tower. Then turn off the power of the electric water heater. Close the hot water outlet. Drain the water in the pipe. Now remove the hose. This is the same as a normal screw. It can be loosened by turning it counterclockwise. Put it aside. Loosen the nut with your movable wrench. Here is a little trick. The two nuts take turn to loosen. Because if you only release one side, you may get stuck because of unevenness. Just loosen it slowly like this. Finally, hold the first seat with your hand, or it will fall to the ground. Look who installed this. Really bad. Every time it is disassembled, this rubber pad must be replaced with a new one. Otherwise, the disassembled one are prone to leaking. Now remove the elbow. I don't know why the water leaking before. Now you look here. This elbow is loose. It will shake with a little force. Oh my God! It broke. So the reveals cause of the water leakage is that the elbow is cracked. Now remove the hot water elbow. Under normal conditions, it should look solid like this. There isn't any rust or scale here. The cold water pipe is not so optimistic here. But we have an instructor. Don't worry about anything. After inserting it, knock it tightly. Now turn it counterclockwise to see if it's clenched. Still doesn't seem to work. It's okay. We just need to turn it slowly and tap it slowly. It will clench. Almost scratched. Now you can turn it hard. You see, it's removed. You see, it's all blocked by rust. This is the reason why the water cannot float out of the house. Just clean the rust away. But be careful not to break the paper tray. Now wipe it a bit. Then clean the dirt on the wall. Pirate magic. Pirate what is this? This is an adjustable water stop elbow, but it is easy to buy. Electrical and pumping stores are all on sale. Remember to buy this rubber, 
Sometimes the water leakage is just because of the problem of the rubber pad. Attach the decorative metal pieces. Sometimes it cuts your hand by the edge, so be careful. It doesn't need any skills to just put it on. Then wrap the thread seal tab in the direction of the thread. Usually there are certain turns on this side. Tighten it slightly with your hands after wrapping. Then put on the bonding glue. This glue, electrical and pumping store are all on sale. Be careful when reinstalling rusty pipe. Don't break the pipe tray. What if it breaks? Dig the wall to replace the pipe. The last lamp must be locked with a wrench. We should buy this kind of a wrench based on the experience of a prompt. Because this is more convenient for repairing basins and water towers. Be careful here, lock it slowly. Turn to the direction of 10 o'clock and stop because it's easier to adjust. Now install the elbow on the hot water side. Wind the certain ties along the thread in the same way. A. The bonding glue. It is easy to install if there is no rust here. Lock it with your hands first. Finally, use a wrench to lock a circle. Use the faucet to adjust the position of the elbow. Adjust slowly in a clockwise direction. Don't adjust it counterclockwise. This way, the failure rate will be much lower. Slowly adjust both sides in a clockwise direction. Don't be impatient. This can be checked with a spirit level, but today I'm a bit of lazy. Take down the faucet now. Why did you remove it just after installing? Just adjust the direction of the elbow and then install the rubber pad to lock it. The rubber gasket must be repressed, otherwise it's easy to leak water. Then align the thread of the knot by hand. In fact, all the screw pipes are the same. First, make sure there is no problem with the screw by hand. It will be more dangerous if you use tools to tighten at the beginning. Now, tighten it with a wrench. The cold water pipe and hot water pipe are locked alternately as when disassembling. The point just said is very important. Okay, it's locked. Then close the elbow of hard and cold water. Be sure to complete this procedure before sending water. Otherwise, the installation fails. Water will be spread everywhere. The hot water is also locked. Turn on the water outlet valve. Open the outlet valve over the electric water heater. Turn on the faucet to confirm whether the water pressure is normal. Remove the aerator. This is very important before sending water. Why you late? Why do you want to remove it? 
This is aired. When replacing the faucet and water pipe maintenance, you need to remove it first to avoid breakage. Huh? Is this real? Of course, it's true. Let's see the water flowing out at first. No doubt, let the water is flow rather than the water scale. Increase the output of the cold water. It's almost done. Now check the hot water. Oh, there is still air in the pipe. Adjust the water a little bit to expel the air. The air in the water pipe needs to be completely drained before it can be used normally. The flow of the hot water is smooth here. We can install the air it now. Slightly tighten with removable wrench. Turn on the tap and the tester again. It's good, okay now. Ayo! Look, it's dirty. Didn't you say you want to make new? Let's start now. This can be cleaned quickly with the cleaner we mentioned last time. This cleaner can be made by yourself without having to buy it. Pirate King, how do you do this? Because of time, I will show you in the next video. You see, it's not polished now. It's just wiped with a cloth. Whether it's lime scale or rust part, just wipe it off. Not bad, it is. Wipe dry with the toilet paper after the scale and the rust part are removed. Do you think it's brighter? You see, the faucet has become used more than 10 years, has become a new one. This is not to save money, but to have a sense of pressure. At this time, what do you want to say, most of the men? Darling, look at this. Must be this sentence, right? This kind of plastic can also become into new ones, do you know? But there are bumps on it, so you need to use a brush. Pour the cleaner, take the discarded toothbrush and brush it. You see, this has changed too. Wash the handle too. Pirate magic! This kind of hose can only be replaced with a new one. Remember to install this rubber gasket. It's done. It needs a sensible accomplishment. Hmm, try a few more tries and you will succeed. If you have no time to try, subscribing to Pyraking Studio can also improve your repairability and creativity. Subscribe to share and like. Thank you for watching. See you next time.